All right, y'all. So it's been a long, long, it's a beautiful sunset now, but it's been a long, long, long day, man. I had got Monday. I had um, caught an Uber to my recruitment. Ignore how crusty I look. <laughs> that must be tobacco. But Monday I had um, caught an Uber to my recruiter, got on a shuttle van and headed to New Orleans for MEPS. Uh, I was supposed to, I was supposed to go directly to MEPS to take the test to the Navy base in New Orleans, but I ended up staying at the hotel because the recruiters didn't tell me nothing at all. <laughs> so that gave me enough time to study a bit for the ASVAB test. And then on Tuesday, we woke up at uh, four and uh, we had went at 5.30 to the base to test. And um, I took the test, I only, I only studied for like two hours, the math. And I took the test and it seemed like I was doing good. It seemed like I was doing all right. The only part I felt was this memory test where you had to um, memorize the boxes, how many times the box flashes, like it starts at a certain number and then it goes up or down depending on where it lands. And I ain't gonna lie, I said I didn't give a fuck about that because I'm tired. I only got like four or five hours of sleep because I keep, me and my roommate, I gave him my numbers, I hope he called cool kid he's like 18 or 17 he's going to the national guard but he me and him we couldn't really sleep because we're like we're thinking about going to the asvab i mean not the asvab but to meps but you know i took the test honestly i think i think i had like a 75 until i took that test because that shit dropped it to a 60 if i'm being honest probably but I got a 60 and honestly, I got a lot of jobs I can choose from, but um, it's not what I was told is not really based on the ASVAB, but it's based on um, the sections of the test, like how it breaks down and stuff like that. But I can't do nuke school, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I ain't really tripping on it because I don't want to have to do or deal with any kind of fucking math. But, you know, we was in there, man. We was in there for like 10 or 11 hours. That shit was tragic. We was in there for 10 or 11 fucking hours. And uh, I couldn't do the medical that day. So they say I had to go back tomorrow. Uh, the guy I was with, he had went back home because he was done. But um, yeah, you know, we uh, we got that squared away. Um, he, he actually got denied because of his acne. Well, not because of his acne, because there's a kid today that had acne and he's sworn in, but he was taking, he's taking this medicine for his acne, for probably some like, I forgot what it's called, but he's taking something to uh, deal with his acne, you know, but, but yeah, he has the, he has, he's on, on wave, but you know, today I did my, um, my medical at MEPS, another brutally long process. That shit fucking sucked. But um, yeah, he had. We did the process. I passed it. We did a hearing. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of messed up a few of the scores because I had a lot of earwax. The doctor that did my physical, he couldn't really see my um, my eardrum, so I had to get a guy. I had to get these two ladies to do the water, the elephant water push on my ear. That shit fucking hurt it. Like they jammed the damn thing in my ears, and there was and there was uh, squirting the gun in it, the water in it. So that fucking sucked, but the doctor was able to see it. Um, I passed my vision. I had to do a P test, but I couldn't really piss because this guy who was acting like he was a goddamn Marine uh, drill sergeant, this fucking idiot was singing. He was singing and it was distracting me. So I had to wait an hour to take a, uh, take a piss again, you know, but man, this girl is fine. But anyways, um, Anyways, though, I had, uh, I passed it. I crushed it. I had to wait five more fucking hours. Um, and man, I just got to wait for my waiver, man. If I had my waiver, man, if I had my waiver in already, I would have, I would have sworn in today. 
and just got just gotten ready to deploy but gotta wait on a waiver to get through which shouldn't take any which shouldn't take long i'll probably get a call from my recruiter who's a chief or one of the other chiefs so they can tell me like what's the game plan next but yeah i just gotta get that done and then i'm off to the fucking boot camp baby i'm off the boot camp so yeah you know i got uh what's the word i'm looking for so yeah dude i got uh probably next week they'll send me back to swear in or i'll probably do it at the recruiter office probably go over there to swear in again it'll just take a day but yeah i'll go in there swearing and then uh, they're gonna ship me off as soon as possible they said that i'll either be going to meps in chicago which would be pretty fucking cool or they'll send my ass to michigan <laughs> No, no, is he Wisconsin, Michigan or Wisconsin? I'm like, fuck, man, I don't want to go there, dude. I'm from Louisiana. Like, I'm not used to this fucking heat. I mean, this cold. It's like, what the fuck? But yeah, dude, I'm about to go into the Navy. Um, see what jobs they got. I may do like a three year or four year. And um, depending on how I like it, depending on if I want to do some great things, I may stay. I may not. You know, the world is mine right now. I'm 24 in like five days. So it's going to be pretty fucking cool to see. But tonight I got to work out. And tomorrow I got to start eating healthy, man. Because I don't want to go to boot camp fat as hell like how I am right now. Because if I go right now, it's going to be a fucking struggle. But it'll be worth it though. I'll make it. But right now I got to get it going. So let's get it.